G'day guys, welcome to Motorfills. I'm Rob Hamilton. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Mm, today's a good day. It is a good day. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this for so long. The wireless charging head for your moto. Gone are the days, man. Gone are the days when you're on your favorite ride, you're cruising, you got your tunes pumping, you got the wind blowing, and the next minute, your phone is dead. The new Quadlock wireless charging head is now available to purchase. Get in and amongst it. Now for the guys that don't really know much about Quadlock Moto and what the hell Quadlock Moto even is, let me give you a quick rundown and then I'll show you what's in the box. We'll go and install it, we'll go for a test ride and then I'll give you the discount code so you can apply it on your next purchase. And save those sweet dollars for your next ride. Mmm, how's that sound? So Quadlock is a super secure and easy to use phone mounting system. So the way it works is you purchase the phone case and you'll see it has the little adapter there. If you don't want to purchase the case, they do have just an adhesive adapter that you can just stick onto any phone case. So they've got you covered there, super high quality, very tough, very durable, very nice, very sleek on the hands. Mm, just. Then you basically just go on the website, have a little scroll through and you'll see that they have all these different adapters and accessories for it. And then boom, you're in business. You click your phone into the mount and then that is secure and it is not going anywhere. You can shake it, you can jiggle it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Push the tab in, twist it, unlock it. Boom, you're in business. You're in business, baby. So I've got the wireless desk mount right here. Give you a squiz. Such a good idea. Oh yeah. Got one in my car. And of course I have one for my bike. And I really won't be using anything different anytime soon. So if you can stick around, get that code and, um, and then you'll be well on your way to Quadlock glory. Okay, so what's in the box? You have your Quadlock motorcycle wireless charging head, 150 centimeter and one 1.5 meter USB-A to USB-C cable, your SAE to USB-A power box with surge protection, 20 centimeter SAE to battery terminal cable, M5 35 millimeter screws, zip ties, and hex keys. Boom, that is what's in the box, baby. Now the wireless charging head is compatible with all quadlock mounts. So there are two ways to connect your charging head to your motorcycle. The first is just plugging it straight from the head into your USB socket that you might have stock on your dash there in your cluster or underneath your seat like I do. And the second is to run it from the head to your SAE adapter, from the adapter to your battery terminals. Apparently some motorcycles have an SAE adapter already installed on in it. So you can just literally plug this SAE into that and then run the USB cable to the charging heads. So then it'll turn on with ignition or accessory or whatever you got going on. But the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna do the hardest way, we're gonna do it the longest way, only because my USB charger doesn't actually work. Ooh. So we're gonna be doing the battery terminal thing. This is cool. I'm gonna show you guys how to run it nice and neatly, give you guys some tips, and let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's do this. So first, you're gonna remove the old head. You can use the Allen hex key included. That just comes straight off. And you'll notice the USB-C port. You just need to make sure that it's clear of any obstruction because it does end up pushing down a little bit further when you go to detach your phone. So to make sure, make sure that's all clear and pop that little guy on. Get the bolt that's included. Has a bit of Loctite on there to help it not come loose. And just screw that bad boy in and away you go. That is it. The head mount is mounted. It is that easy. Gain access to your battery, mine's under the seat. Just remove any obstructions, that's a USB port that doesn't work. Remove the negative terminal first all the time. Never do the positive first, just in case you short out your tools across the chassis and the, and the battery. Just move that out of the way so it doesn't touch the actual terminal. And then positive. Then you take your terminal cable, you just split that little bad boy. And now red goes to positive and black goes to negative. Now do it in reverse order, so you're gonna be doing the positive first and then you'll be doing negative last. Make sure it's all nice and secure. Put everything back to normal. You're happy days, man. You're laughing, you're good times. Connect up your SAE adapter, you can't go wrong. Now I'm removing the tank on mine just because I wanna run this cable as stock in as factory as possible and as safe as possible as well. So the cable doesn't actually wear through and short out on anything. So I remove the tank. If you're gonna do this, just, just keep mind of the plugs and how many hoses and everything that comes off so that when you get to put it back on, you get them all right the first time. Now I'm gonna be running mine through this plastic housing here that holds the main harness. So just unclip that harness and feed your 1.5 mil USB-C cable through it to the battery. And up through the head, again, you're gonna be following the main cables and everything that run with your bike that's factory, just to keep that factory sort of look. I'm not gonna be cable tying too much up here, just a little bit to stop the movement, especially on the metal surfaces. Make sure there's enough length to give yourself some play. 
But this part could take a little bit of mucking around, just get a bit of a feel for it until you find your right position for the cable to run. That's the neatest and the most like factory looking as possible. I'm just sticking a little cable tie on the unit itself just to stop the cable from dangling around. Little tip, once you cut the cable tie, just roll it around so that that sharp part is around the back of the unit. This just makes the unit look a little bit more tidier and it saves you from cutting yourself. If you brush past it and you tear your skin open, you don't want to do that. Just roll that underneath and it looks all nice. You just have this nice little shiny band that holds your cable there. So you can see there I'm running the cable with the main harness and securing it to it. You just want to make sure that you have no movement in the cable whatsoever just to save from the vibration wearing it through. Again, roll those cable ties around. It's just so much neater. Ooh. And there it is. It's all in there. It's all nice and happy days. And that's something I like to do is just electrical tape the USB A into the SAE just to prevent it from even coming out the slightest or to prevent any corrosion. I think I'm pretty sure it's stainless anyway, but to prevent any water or, you know, dew getting inside the USB unit itself. And that's it. And just put everything back together, baby. And you are done. All right. So there it is. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. Obviously there's a lot going on in there. There is a little power button here. Boop. You can just turn it off, little clicky boy. Boop, back on, away you go. Now let's see if this thing actually works. Doosh. It does, it's charging. How good is that? How sick is that? And then to take it off, you just push down on both sides of there and it just sort of springs closed and you're good. That sort of, bit of springy action there. It's a nice solid click as well. It's a solid thud. Ooh. Let's take this thing for a test ride. Well, there it is, guys. What do you think? It is on, it is charging, and man, I like, I've been using Quadlock for like the last two years, so I don't see why I'm gonna have any issues with this mount. I think they're an incredible brand, incredible company. They have their stuff down. Like the phone case feels great in your hand. The, the mounts are very minimal. Like this is a little bit bigger, but you can't even see it behind the phone. Like it just looks like a normal thing. And it's so cool knowing that I am using the, you know, I'm using Waze and all GPS and stuff like that. My, but my phone is still at 100% and there's no cables. What? What? It's so, it's so tidy. I wonder if I can go down that way. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Now I've taken this thing, I've taken my quadlock case and my and the mount through like all types of all types of terrain. Like we went off off-roading for two days. I've ridden through, you know, I've ridden through torrential rain. I've ridden, I've ridden this thing around and it's just survived. It survived so nicely. I've never ever ever had my phone come off or even look like it was gonna come off in the slightest. It's such a great great design i just yeah i'm just frothing on it i've seen the ram mounts and i'm being, eh, a little bit meh on the ram mounts i don't like the whole two hand thing to get it off and all that this is all just so tidy so just so well done now the wireless charging head is ip66 water resistant and dust resistant so you can take it on the trails you can take it in the rain and it's not gonna it's not gonna affect it in any way you're still gonna be charging your your device there now obviously it is for devices that only support wireless charging so i don't think it's going to charge your phone <laughs> if it doesn't support wireless charging that would just be stupid the wireless charging head comes in at 134.95 and that's around 92 dollars us and if you use the code motofills at checkout you receive 10 percent off baby 10 percent off your purchase and that's an ongoing code as well so you're not gonna it's not a one-time use you can use that as many times as you want tell your mum tell your dad tell your family if you want to get that running armband later on boom you can and you will baby and you will be frothing motofills at checkout 10 percent mm you're gonna love it and now i get a small commission from that so i really appreciate it if you do use it it helps me out a little bit helps you guys out helps everybody out everyone's happy i haven't been paid to make this video it's just a it's just a little video i thought i'll just share with you guys just because i believe in the product i believe in i believe in quadlock moto they make such a great much like it's such a great product i froth in it it's so good like you can't go wrong with quadlock moto mm. How nice is this? Holy moly. I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, there it is, guys. Quadlock Moto. Hope I helped you out in any way. If I did, please hit like, hit subscribe if you'd like to see this sort of stuff weekly. And um, I'll see you in next week's vid. Peace, legends. You.